All right, 18 minutes after the hour, just about 18 minutes here, as Mr. Wooten joins us with a check of the forecast. Important stuff that they're doing there. Yeah, for sure. Uh, restorations for coastal dunes have been, have, some, have been something that's been going on forever. So that's nothing new. But what is new for a lot of folks is just the winter that we've had. Oh, sorry. Or the winter that we <laughs> I know, right? Quick reaction yes. there. We haven't had a lot of snowfall this winter. A lot of these communities were hit so hard yeah. week after week. And so now, finally, we have this dry spell, and they're taking advantage yeah. of it. Taking full advantage yeah. of it. You bring up an excellent point. Week after week. Think Back to January, where we had two storms. Remember, it didn't bring a lot of snowfall, brought a lot of rainfall, a lot of milder air, a lot of heavy rainfall. So all of those worked in tandem, if you will, to sort of bring us the perfect storm. That wasn't exactly a storm. I mean, I know that we had rapid snow melt with temperatures in the 40s and 50s in January, mind you, and then the heavy rainfall as well, one, two, maybe even three inches in less than a day in several locations. And then, of course, the winds. And this was another key component to the onshore wind that churns up the Atlantic pushes it more on shore with wind gusts between 50, 60, and perhaps 70 miles an hour. And then on top of that, coming along or coinciding with high tide cycles, too. So, again, a lot working in tandem to bring us that mess that we saw not only there in Salisbury, but also for Hampton Beach, New Hampshire, and for several spots across the New Hampshire seacoast. Today, it's a much calmer day. Folks taking full advantage of the sunshine and the nice weather conditions that we've got today at 35 in Boston right now, near 40 in Lawrence. We are at 40 right now in Rochester and above that across Port Portsmouth at 41 degrees. Still chilly, though, across Barnstable County and Martha's Vineyard, too, where temperatures are right along 30, 32 degrees. Some of that due to the cloud coverage that we still see from the system that's now well off towards our east, but in close enough proximity to bring us clouds, we should start to see those clouds dissipating for, I would say, the remainder of the day today and into tomorrow will be that turn or that change, if you will. So we're stuck with the clouds today. As our winds are from the east and northeast at about 5 to 10 miles an hour, tomorrow at about 9, 10 o'clock in the morning, we get more sunshine. And the good news is the sunnier skies are here to stay for the rest of the work week. As this area of high pressure builds in, so does the sunshine, too. And here it goes again. Warmer air as we get closer to Thursday and Friday. Our temperatures climb from the 30s today to the 40s to near 50 degrees on Friday and surpassing 50 on Friday. The caveat on Friday and Saturday will be more clouds enter the mix and there's also some rain. I think ultimately the weekend should be dry for the most part. However, there will be one or two spots of scattered rain showers today, though. So looking at scattered snow showers across uh, Chatham and also Nantucket too. a very faint system that's just off towards the east. Remember, most of us seeing the clouds right across the coast and along I-95. The further west you go, not as thick of cloud coverage today. The further east you go, not only is it clouds, but it's also snow for Larry's too. But hey, it's February. We're typically used to this stuff this time of year. One o'clock tomorrow morning, that system wanes as our winds start to weaken, and that will ultimately bring that system to a close or a conclusion. But still looking at light flurries tonight, temperatures right around 30 to 32 degrees, clear to partly cloudy skies as we go throughout our Tuesday evening and into Wednesday. 44 high in Boston on Wednesday and Taunton too, across Martha's Vineyard, Nantucket, Plymouth, Hyannis, and even near across the South Shore, highs tomorrow just shy of 40 degrees, but across the interior, again, I think we surpassed that from Fitchburg to Manchester, Lowell, and Worcester getting awfully close. So let's talk about the next opportunity for rain. It will be rain with this next system coming in. Some of the uh, events that we've seen of the heavy rainfall that we've seen, flash flooding, the debris flows and mud flows across California. Well, that system starts to stretch apart like taffy such that by Friday afternoon, the course to the north. So it is weakening as it's stretching apart. But that's still, again, going to bring us scattered showers on and off throughout Saturday morning. Most of that wrapping up before the tail end of Saturday. If you've got any, let's just say, superb parties happening on Sunday. Here's a closer check of the 10 day forecast. We were nice and dry headed into Wednesday and Thursday. Thursday, cloud stream back into the mix on Friday. Slight chance of showers on Saturday. Look at the peak of the warmth Saturday and Sunday, 50 to 54 degrees before we nosedive right back down by the end of next week.